What is up everybody, my name is Guillaume, this is Thurman's Guitars and Basses and welcome to this week's episode of Hit The Tone, in which we're going to take a look at the song Wish You Were Here by Incubus, starting with our guitar setup. So we're talking about the guitar player Mike Einziger. Einziger, it's my German, it's my newfound German that's like pushing me in the wrong dire direction. <laughs> Einziger, Einziger, I'm not sure. Mike, phenomenal guitar player, such a great sound designer as well and soundscape creator. I really love that band and I love his guitar playing. And the thing is that we could, we could go either way, right? I think the song was recorded on uh, split and full Humbuckers. He has been seen playing that song with a PRS guitar, most notably, uh, quite a bit. But after his sort of transition into the telly and the thin line telly world, uh, I, I don't think there was ever like going back to uh, to Humbuckers for that song, at least from what I've seen live. So I decided to go in that direction. I think to me, this is kind of the do it all guitar for. Uh, Incubus is going to be something along those lines. So this is a Squire classic vibe. This is a thin line uh, telly. Absolutely killer instrument. I'm going to be playing it in the bridge position and volume and tone both all the way up. Now let's have a look at our amp and pedal setup. And Mike is famous for playing Mesa Boogie amplifiers, uh, usually a few of them, uh, because he tends to switch between the amps, so not at the same time, but using one amp clean, one amp uh, with high gain, quite a bunch of pedals, but maybe more focused towards reverb and modulation, you know, more temporal effects rather than just uh, high gain boxes. So. That's tricky right now. Uh, Mesa Boogie is not really in stock. We don't have amps. We barely have uh, Mesa Boogie pedals as well. So I decided to keep the rig from last week going, which is the Headrush MX-5 uh, modeler pedal ball do it all unit going into the Marshall JCM 800, uh, just into the effects return. So all the controls on the Marshall are useless and bypassed, but uh, using that rig allows me to dial in some really, really nice Mesa sounds. So don't get fooled by the uh, titles that you see on there. I just started with like um, stock presets, but those are very much Mesa, very much American sort of sounding, kind of scoopy, but just very nice and enjoyable sounds. I have one preset that I'll put on screen for the clean sound, which is sort of the clean side of that uh, Mesa amp and I have a second preset which is called Food Fight, <laughs> those are all stock preset names, which is uh, my high gain sound. I just have a little bit of reverb on both because I like the way that it fills up and it makes the, the whole thing just feels more natural as well and that's something that I always do with modelers like that. But yeah, took those presets, removed the cap simulation, the impulse responses, uh, just went for the head and the reverb on those units. And I'm really, really happy with that sound. Just for a reminder, this is the clean part. And this is the high gain sound. So I'm really, really happy with both of those sounds. This is just a really, you know, practical case uh, use of the these types of modeler, and in that particular case of the MX-5, I think it does a really, really great job and allows like such an easy type of switching in between the two. But with all that said, let's go on to the final part of the video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. And here's to our usual reminders. Uh, please check out the description box down below. You'll find uh, links to the gear that I'm using today and a bunch more recommendations at different price points if you want to check out different modelers, if you want to see uh, some amplifiers that are in that Mesa sort of ballpark that could take you there as well. As far as tuning goes, uh, weirdly enough, we're in E standard. I, for some reason, I was always sure that this song was down tuned just because of the sheer amount of, of low end and bass and just just the massiveness of, of my sound once distorted. Uh, but no, it's actually just E standard, so standard tuning all the way. And uh, let's have a look at how to play the riff exactly. <laughs> Now, 
it's not a particularly complicated riff, but I think it's a really interesting one. The the, the way that he phrases those chords and uh, that he makes that progression works. So yeah, it, those are mostly just regular bar chords and you know the standard shapes and whatnot. But I think the way it's done is very original and. It works in both the intro, like there's no, it's really hard to find a riff that will both work in exactly the same way for clean sound and a high gain sound. And I think Mike is, is one of those guys who, who make that happen really, really beautifully because that riff is played the exact same way to some extent. There's a little bit more going into the picking, obviously. Yeah, I think it's just a really, really fun riff to play. It's a great song to learn, so I highly recommend it. But with that said, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Wish You Were Here by Incubus. As usual, I hope you had fun and that maybe you've learned a thing or two in that video, so if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. And please do let me know in the comment section which other song you'd like me to cover, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone. Take care, guys. Bye.